So this picture of Ruskin has got some selection challenges. In particular, looking up here at the back, we've got a very soft edge. It's really easy doing selections in where there's a hard edge between the thing you're selecting in the background. So for example, around his head here is nicely in focus, easy to select. Soft edges like that are really hard. So I'm going to show you how to use select and mask to do that. Firstly, of course, I need to do my layer from background. So now when I do the selection and cut, I will have a transparent background. So I'm going to zoom in over here and holding down the alt and using the scroll wheel, of course, to zoom. And I'm going to make my brush a little bigger using the square brackets on my keyboard. And I'm just going to do a bit at a time because um, if you try and do the whole selection and cut in one go, uh, you can end up endlessly fiddling around with bits of the selection. So there's my selection and what I'm going to hop into is going to the view, no, the select menu, sorry, and do select and mask. Now what this shows me is, I can do a few different options here, but it's showing me what the select, it gives me a preview of what the selection will look like. And you can see I've got a really hard edge at the moment. If I do it there. So I'm going to go back to my onion skin one. Um, I like to use the onion skin and then fiddle around with the transparency it kind of helps me to see where I'm at so I'm just going to set it about there for now and then we've got these sliders over here and there's a lot of trial and error involved in getting this right until you're a bit more experienced um, firstly we've got edge detection and it detects as you can see it's kind of fuzzing out that edge a little bit and finding out where the actual edge is uh, which is a really good thing for taking out bits of the background. We can also smooth the edge, that works well, and feathering is really good. You, it's a good idea to whack the sliders up to maximum because it kind of shows you what's going on. You can see how the feathering here is um, taking the selection both sides of the line. So sometimes just a little bit of feather is enough to really make a difference. Uh, my experience is that you don't go too hard out on these sliders. If you whack them up to the maximum, you just get a really ugly job. That doesn't look too bad. So I'm going to go OK on that and Control X and see what I've got. Um, yeah, it doesn't look too bad at all. Uh, I'll just do one more section just to, to get a bit of an illustration. I'm going to do down here. So I'm going to do my quick and dirty quick selection tool first. I'm not going to do that in the bottom of the foot. That looks too hard. Uh, go into select and mask and I'm going to do a bit of edge detection around there. Yeah that feels about right. Smooth it out a touch. A little bit of feather. Click OK. Control X. Mm, I think I might have needed to do a better job with the selection in the first place because uh, yeah I think I'd go back to my history window and uh, let's just zoom in a bit and using the square brackets just to that hold down the alt key to remove a bit of this selection oh no I want to add some more selection don't I that's about right there yeah I think I should have done this in the first place and oh no didn't want all of that lot so just holding down the alt key so it's one of those things in Photoshop to do a good job does actually take time to refine things. Okay, let's have a look at that. Select and mask. A little bit more radius on that. A little bit of feather. Smooth. Mm, I'm not going to do very much smoothing on that one. Let's see how that looks. Control X. Hmm. If I zoom out. Yeah, often when you zoom out, you think, oh, no, that, that should be a better line than that. Trial and error, having uh, really high standards really helps as well. Try to do a really good job. There you go, select a mask.